Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and it's a special day today because it's my birthday. I'm so excited to be hanging out at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna be meeting up with some friends. Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular is coming back today. So we're gonna be able to see one of the first shows for that and also ride some rides and go over some of the new changes to the Genie Plus app. Anywho's, let's go do this. Like I said, today is my birthday, December 19th, and look at how crowded it is here today. I mean, we're in full holiday mode, less than a week to go until Christmas, and I'm so excited. A lot of people always ask how I like having a birthday so close to Christmas, and I gotta say, I love it. I think it adds to the holiday cheer. It's like all my favorite days within a week span, you know? Speaking of the holiday season, we're just in time for the holiday parade right now. I just got here. This is so much fun. Oh, it's snowping! It's snowping! <laughs> this is a great way to start my birthday, I have to say. Oh, look at a little reindeer in his paws. <laughs> and there he is, Santa, the man himself. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Starting off the day with a little parade and some snow is definitely a good day. Like this is really <laughs> And also, we've got bubbles. It's like a double inception right here because we got snow and bubbles all in the same right now. The first thing anybody does on their birthday whenever they're in the Disney parks is head on in and get yourself a birthday button. So we're gonna go on the five and 10 so I can get my little birthday button. Um, M M O M O R R O W. Oh, Morrow. Okay. Yeah, like tomorrow. Uh, like Tom Morrow. Yeah. Got you, buddy. Which I'm. And there it is, my official birthday button of the day. I'm so excited to wear it. Now I've got my button on, and I think we're gonna head over to Indiana Jones for the first show of the day. I'm sure there's gonna be a big crowd of people, and honestly, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get in the first show. Like, there's only certain amount of seats in there, and people have been excited for this for a long, long time. And look at this. I think the first showing is at 12 o'clock, so we're just about an hour in, and I mean, <laughs> it's busy. Hi, friends. We might not be able to get into the first showing, and we're here an hour early. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, 12 o'clock. So they have 12 o'clock, 115, 315, 445, and 6. Holy moly, I think we're lining up over here. Yep, down on this side. People are excited for Indiana Jones. I think we have completely underestimated. <laughs> yep. How much farther do you think we got, Jackie? Uh, I feel like we're getting in for the 5 o'clock Oh, sorry. Show. Oh, yeah, we might be getting into the 5 o'clock show here. Hi, friends. How are you? Hi, guys. How are you? Hey. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Hi, friends. Hi. I know. I'm like, oh, boy. Yep, we found it. Hey, we're at Star Tours. They're coming out right now, and they're telling us that we may or may not make the show, and we're right here. We are so close, but they also said it's standing room only at this point. So it's either wait now and then come back. No, because we can't come back. Wait We'd now have to or sit here. Yeah, we would have to sit here and wait till 2:30. Or oh, the next showing is at 1:15. Well, that's not too yeah, bad. We'll do it. That's like an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. But it means we'll get close seats. Things. Yeah, we'll get closer seats if we don't make it. Yeah. Holy moly, we made it to the first show. It's standing room only, though. Oh, we don't have to wear a mask? Where are we going, guys? Right. Well, we officially made it to the first show. I'm very excited. Even if we're standing up here, it's still really cool to be able to be here for the first show and see all the hype and all the celebration. So I'm excited. It's about to start only like four minutes away. 644 days. <laughs> that is how long it has been since we have seen all of you.
to actually cast background talent. Now, background is very important because it helps bring our scenes to life. And today, we're going to capture all of you as our background voices. Now listen, I have to tell you, we've got a lot of action in this film shoot, so I need a lot of reaction from all of you. It have it the show is back there was a couple of different things that changed including no audience participation like they used to instead they actually have the whole audience participate so I guess there is an audience participate but nobody goes down to the stage you just kind of cheer make different sound effects and I think that's a cool way to incorporate everybody into it and it was nice to see it it kind of gives me the old MGM Studios vibes and now it's back it's back for good here is a look at some of the wait times for today. It looks like uh, the Tower of Terror is 45 minutes, Rock and Roller Coaster is 70 minutes, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is 85 minutes, Slinky Dog Dash 95 minutes, Smuggler's Run 105, and then Rise of the Resistance 140. It is a very busy day today. Like I said before, today also is the first official day that they switched up the lightning lanes for the Genie Plus app. Uh, here at Hollywood Studios, the only paid lightning lane is Rise of the Resistance. Uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway used to be, but now that's included in the Genie Plus bundle service. I feel like the whole entire thing is so complicated and hard to explain to anybody. If you didn't know what I'm talking about, yeah. it's hard to understand. You I know agree. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's very to like, it so many times, when you, like when you start Start saying Genie Plus, yeah. Genie App, Genie Bundle, Lightning Lane, individual Lightning Lanes. It's it's a lot to take in. Basically now you can pay for the Genie Plus app, which is $15 a day, and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a part of that. Where it used to actually be just an individual Lightning Lane, where you just have to buy that attraction, but now it's included in the Genie Plus along with several other rides in the park. Now I think we're going to stroll on down to Baseline, grab ourselves a beer flight, maybe a pretzel, and then maybe wait to get on a ride. Right now, like I said, the wait times seem like super, super long, so maybe they'll go down a little bit as we get in the afternoon. We'll just wait and see. It's always beer o'clock in here, and I think we're going to get ourselves a little beer flight and a pretzel. I love it. I actually love coming here trying different beers and they always have a seasonal beer too. I think this one is a celebration IPA. So of course I'm going to add that to my beer flight and a couple of my favorites like the Scrimshaw, the Red Seal Ale and the Golden Road. Golden Road, take me home. <laughs> Now we found ourselves a nice little table on the outside. Sometimes it's hard getting tables over here. This is a busy spot. I mean, this is probably the most popular place to get a drink at Hollywood Studios. I feel like it is. I mean, if you can think of another place, let me know in the comments, but Baseline for me is kind of the essential drinking spot at Hollywood Studios. Jackie got a charcuterie, a charcuterie, and then what'd you get a scrimshaw? Scrimshaw Pilsner, I love Oh this. yeah, the scrimshaw is good. Yeah. And I got a pretzel, and then my flight right so here. Good. And I like all the little cards that you get. Yeah. Here's the Golden Road, and uh, I think this is the uh, seasonal right here. Oh yeah, S uh, Sierra Nevada seasonal beer. So I'm excited to try that one. We're gonna start off with the scrimshaw. Even though my scrimshaw looks a little lighter yeah, than your scrimshaw. Yeah. But cheers. Cheers. Pinky up. I love how they give you a little card and it basically gives you all the facts about the beer itself like the ABV and the IBU but it also gives you like a little description of how the beer tastes like a subtle hop character with a crisp and dry finish. I like that. Scrimshaw, huh? Now I'm gonna try the seasonal beer here. This is the uh, Celebration IPA here. Oh, that's good. Not too bitter at all. That's a good IPA. Like, you know, sometimes uh, when we say bitter, it's like that bite where you're like, 
you know like you know what I mean but IPAs kind of have like that hoppy taste to it and if you get like a lot of hypes with no bitter I feel like that is a good IPA and this is kind of like that kind of just nice and refreshing <laughs> Since we already drank two of our beers, I think it's time we dive into our pretzel. Gonna take the mustard over here and then the beer cheese. And this is one of my favorite pretzels at Walt Disney World. It is such a great pretzel. I like the Germany pretzel. I also like the pretzel they serve at uh, the hangar bar with the charcuterie board. That's my favorite. That's a good, yeah, good pretzel. Good. But this one's pretty good too. Look at that. <laughs> You know, I don't know why, but sometimes it's so hard to just bite a pretzel like this. Like, I think everybody likes to pick it apart, yeah. but I'm gonna literally eat a whole no! pretzel like this. I feel like it's like disturbing. You can't, like disrupt the knot. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna disrupt no! the knot. <laughs> that did not feel right. No. Nope. So we're just we're gonna, gonna go back right. to the way. Yeah, it didn't look right either. So we're just gonna pick there. it apart. Pick it apart. Mm -hmm. But I love it. So so good. A bee literally came and went inside Jackie's beer while I was sitting here. You guys know my history of bees. I screamed and jumped out of my chair. <laughs> yep. And now I'm going to go ask them for another because I can't. I can't. And like it went in. The bee was in inside like, the beer. I didn't know how it flew away. I thought it was going to drown. I was ready to save its life. One day you were at baseline and a bee flew in your beer. <laughs> On my birthday. A bee in my bonnet. <laughs> While Jackie's going to get another B, B-list beer, uh, I'm gonna try the Red Seal. That one's good. 5.4%, fancy. Also, has anybody else noticed Disney switching their cups around? Like these are very slim, like flimsy, like plastic, like, I don't know, like these aren't like really like the nice cups you used to get. Like they're very flimsy and they kind of like fold under pressure. <laughs> like they, like you know what I mean? So it's kind of strange that they're using these. I'm trying to see what's under the bottom there. What are the dart, dart cups? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of these. And they're all over the place. They're basically everywhere. They even serve like the beers for the festival beers and these two now. So there must have been like a mass shortage on the regular cups, or they're just doing cutbacks because these are definitely cheaply cut made. Backs. Cutbacks. Cut cup. Oh, you're clever. Cutbacks. Cupbacks, yes, definitely some cupbacks. <laughs> and finally, last but not least, Golden Road. Golden Road, take me home. <laughs> Are we done here? I think we're done. Okay. <laughs> well, I got a little bit here. Oh, we got a little bit here. Right, yeah, we'll finish up and then we're done. Yes. <laughs> Gotta finish up the scrimshaw. Finish the scrim. Finish the scrimshaw. <laughs> Now that we've had our beer flight and pretzel, it's time to move along. Maybe we'll go ride some rides and I don't know, I'm kind of just enjoying my birthday at Hollywood Studios. It's been a great day so far. As we were making our way back around in front of Indiana Jones, I forgot that they actually have specialty like Indiana Jones mixed drinks. The Lost Drool, the Snake Alley, and the Long Last Island. Long Lost Island. I think you said Lost Drool. The, yeah, the, the the Lost Jewel. Uh, actually, it's probably accurate. <laughs> yeah, and then the Snake Alley, and then the Long Lost Island. And I like snakes. Do you hate snakes? You hate snakes? Do you? Asasa, asasa. It's gonna be the Snake Alley. That's a Snake Alley, okay. So it's blue or green. Okay. <laughs> blue milk or green milk? Which blue one do you want? <laughs> That's the snake. Okay, I think that's mine. Yeah, you take the snake. Yeah, okay, snakey the snake. And then I'll take the uh, the last jewel. Okay. It does look like a jewel though, it kind does. of. It does, it's like sparkling. Oh, I think it gets a glow cube too. I didn't get a glow cube? Well, no, the snake doesn't get a glow cube. Oh. Now that we got our drinks, we're coming back over here on the other side of Indiana Jones. And look at this. We got a whole entire tank back here. It's really nice and relaxed. Very cool spot. Okay. Now it's time to cheers. 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 You can hear Indiana Jones in the background. You can hear it. To the lost jewel the lost and the jewels snake. And snake. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels delicious. perfectly fitting right now. Mm. Mine's delicious. Is yours good? Mine's strong. Holy Mine's moly. Mine's not very strong. Like I can taste the banana cream and like the coconut in there. It's actually Mine's strong. really good. It's not. I like how my lost jewel actually does kind of look like a jewel. The way the light kind of reflects off of it. Like if you get it in the sunlight, look at that. Ooh. So fancy, like a special jewel, you know? You're a jewel. I'm a jewel. Yeah, <laughs> a diamond in the rough. A diamond. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now we finally finished up our drinks and made our way down to Galaxy's Edge. And we're gonna be able to ride Rise of the Resistance and also get maybe some blue and green milk since we just had blue and green drinks. But as we were making our way down here, I noticed Ray and Chewbacca are actually out right now. So I really haven't seen them before. They're actually doing photo pass opportunities with Ray and uh, Chewbacca right here. So they have a photo pass photographer. The line's pretty long though. I mean, it's not too long, but still it's kind of like really awesome. That is so amazing. I love it. Now we're gonna grab ourselves some blue milk and green milk. And I actually ran into my friends and we're gonna be hanging out with Chris and then Maria, Lake Buna visitors. Look at that, the shirts, look at the shirts. I like it. Oh yes. Oh nice. So we're gonna drink some milk and then go ride rise. I feel like that's a great plan. That's a good birthday plan. Oh we got the boozy ones. Look at all the rum on top. Oh boy. Wait, how many people do we have with us? <laughs> These are all for you. These are all for you. Oh my thing. lord. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> yeah. Empty. Okay, so they're all stirred. Like, yeah. It's the same straw, just to stir it all. Once. They all have the uh, liquor inside them. Rum, no. rum is blue. Rum tequila is blue. Is green. green. Oh boy. Rum and tequila. Which one would you guys get? Let me know in the comments. Would you get the blue milk with the rum? I wish I could get the blue milk with the tequila. I wonder if they'll let you switch it up. They no. don't. No, they, they won't. Don't. No. Yeah. Blue milk comes with rum, yeah. green with I tequila. That's so that's why nobody likes the green one. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> <likes> <laughs> I'm going to try green. it. Oh, you're going to try the green one. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Cheers. 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 Bright suns. Bright suns. <laughs> Bright suns. It's oh, good. I just Blue tasted milk. all tequila. No, green oh, you had is... to stir. Green oh, this one didn't get stirred? I literally just took a shot of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, yeah, I was like, oh, I literally just took a shot of tequila. Green milk is not the vibe. <laughs> it's not the vibe. I, I forgot to stir it. That's funny. I'm Fun fact, if you do end up getting the milk, make sure you stir it or you're basically just going to be taking a shot. Either though, I do love blue milk better than green milk. Green milk's okay, I think they're both like amazing, but blue milk is definitely the superior out of both of them. There we go, much better. I much prefer the blue milk with the rum. But Maria, you had the green milk. Yeah, I like it. Do you like blue green. or green? You know what, better. Green? Green. No, blue is better. weird. It has like a per plus conditioner taste. Yeah. But for some reason, I liked it a little. Together. Yeah, I don't know. I, Ooh, I like it. think of suicide. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Look. As we're sipping on our melts, the man himself is coming out. Outpost. If they are here, they will not escape. Sir, understood. These are not the droids you're looking for. I'm We're sorry. Take it easy. It's not every day you get burned by stormtroopers and Kylo Ren on your birthday. Can you believe what he just said? It was so amazing. Uh, they, they were basically intercepting the transmission from Jackie's camera and I was trying to like stick up for them. I'm like, these are not the droids you're looking for. And he was like, and you're not the Jedi we're looking for either. And I was just like, oh, burn. <laughs> but anywho's, now that we've seen Kylo Ren there, I think he's heading over to Rise of the Resistance. And I think that's where we're gonna head next. Now I think it's time we're heading on in for Rise of the Resistance. 105 standby weight, but today we're lucky enough that we have a lightning lane. 88. Commander 9 now, please report back. Is everyone assembled? We are all assembled. All assembled. <laughs> yes, assembled. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's BB-8 over there. Engage propulsors and hold on, please. All ships launch. I remember what he said to you, Chris. He won't let you left. He won't let me left. Yep. He said negative. I'm going to try again. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yay! And thank you, R5. We're backing up. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the tunnel rifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> We just got done with Rise of the Resistance. What? I think we're gonna move along and get ourselves another drink at my second favorite place to actually get a drink. That's at the Tune In Lounge, and we're gonna break into Dad's liquor cabinet and enjoy some mixed drinks, hopefully. And then maybe we'll see what else we get ourselves into. But this is a good stop, like on our way. Tune In Lounge is located to the left of 50's Primetime Cafe right here, and I just love seeing the sign itself. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> 
Here is a look at some of the mixed drinks that they have here. For the 50th, they had the Shimmer Over the Moon, the Magical Beacon Cocktail, and then some classics like Dad's Electric Lemonade, the Magical Star Cocktail, and I think the Magical Star Cocktail is like the most popular drink amongst all of Walt Disney World. It's on every single menu, I feel like. But the Dad's Electric Lemonade's a little bit special. Now we got a cheers. Hey. <laughs> This place is so cool just to be able to sit down and actually enjoy a drink. I got myself a beer this time, but I wanted to keep it fancy and classy, so I put my glow cube in here. Now I got a fancy beer, and I like it. What is happening in here? We're rearranging the living room. We're rearranging the Mom is not going to be happy about this. Oh, man. Now I think we're gonna move along from the tune-in lounge and I gotta say I feel like I'm having a pretty good birthday enjoying some drinks and hanging out with friends We got to see Indiana Jones ride rise of the resistance. This is really something like amazing and I think we're gonna grab something to eat maybe and uh, Maybe another drink who knows like I said, it's a birthday celebration And I'm happy to be sharing it with you guys and also with some of my friends here. So it's perfect as we are making our way over to our next destination, look at this, there's a night cavalcade and the cars actually have like the headlights on. I haven't seen this ever before. It's kind of interesting, don't you think? Hi Chip. Hey! Wow, that is so interesting. Look at Daisy in between them too. Oh, Daisy is so funny. And there he is, the man himself. I'm not too sure why I was super excited about that, but it was cool to see like the headlights of the cars turned on. And I, I don't know, maybe that's something that is kind of on the regular, but I never noticed. But I've never seen it like a uh, cavalcade run at night. I, mean, I don't know, I liked it a lot. Now I think it's time we actually get ourselves some Din Din and I think we're gonna head on into the Hollywood Brown Derby. It seems like a good spot for a birthday meal. Maybe I'll get myself a Walt Disney filet or a Walt Disney roast beef hash. I had that before. There's a lot of good items here so we're gonna have to look over the menu. Since our table isn't quite ready actually inside, I think we're gonna grab some drinks over at like the lounge area and they have a grapefruit martini here that uh, Maria told me that is really good. So I think I'm gonna indulge. I also told you it was good. Oh, you've had it before? Yeah, yeah? I just told you that. Nice, yeah, so I you're getting one? No, not this time, but it is really good. Oh, I, well, I'm excited to try it. I yeah. hear good things, I don't like yeah. grapefruit. Yeah, but like, like, I don't like grapefruit nice. beer, but I hear it's good, just like the grapefruit dessert. So it's gonna be, a, I guess, an adventure. Here we go, we're gonna try the grapefruit martini. Cheers. Look at it, it's in a fancy cup too. It looks good, very creamy. It smells good too. It smells like oh. sherbet. Oh, it smells like sherbet. Sherbet. Like sherbet. <laughs> smells like sherbet. Oh, oh, I like that though. Is it? It got stronger. I like now. that. This is good. It's good. It this is, is like the, the the like house drink here. Yeah. Hmm. So you, yeah, you can, well, you can to do. well, this was a shocker, but I really, really do love it. Now I think it's time our table is ready at the Brown Derby. I'm excited. This is the first time I'm ever eating inside. If you guys remember my videos I've done in the past, uh, I've only ever eaten like outside on the patio. So first time in the dining room, first timer here. <laughs> oh, wow. This is everything I thought it would be. Such a beautiful spot. Ooh, and we got one of the fancy boots right here. Yep, we got a bunch of appetizers. Look at all that good stuff. Why is that soup in such a big bowl? I don't know, it's really weird. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's, it's like seems a such a... It's a saucer with a little bit of a soup. <laughs> when they brought it up, yeah, weren't you a little, little shocked? Little it's like... <laughs> it's a little cup. I can hold it in my hand. That is so funny. It's a cup of soup on a, it's an on a illusion. Saucer. It's an illusion. <laughs> I'm excited to try this scallop right here. Yeah. It's my first time, and I was thinking about trying it with the pork belly, but I think maybe I should try the pork belly on its own. Yeah. Try it yeah. Separate. Oh yes. Get the juice. 
I also decided on going with the Walt Disney or the 50th anniversary filet, which is basically a filet served Walt style. So you can have a little bit of uh, the roast beef hash and a fried egg on top, which I've had before and I love it. But this is my first time trying a scallop here and I'm excited. I'm like, okay, here we go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're having some Chimay, a monk beer. So this is the beer that the monks, when they had to fast, they would make, they would live off of this beer for like two months in the winter when they would have to fast. Wow. So because they, they were able to, they can't eat any it food, but you could drink. <laughs> This is such an amazing thing to me right now. I am so pumped for this. I have never heard of this beer before, but I am so excited that Chris actually recommended it because it looks so, so good. And there's a, such great backstory to it. Also, they're playing Christmas music in the Brown Derby, which I kind of like a lot. This has been a great night. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Cheers to Chermay. Cheers. Chermay, yes. Is that what monks, this is? To the monks. That's yes. a medieval monastery. Yeah. yeah. To make each day count. That's a good steak beer. That's a good beer. Wow. I would I enjoy this. I feel like I've eaten steak. <laughs> I have to say though, I am a big fan of the Chimay. This is a really good like beer, and it's something that you kind of like, I've never actually experienced before. It's very heavy, and it doesn't have a lot of hop, or I don't even know what the IBU is. I might have to look up what the IBU is, but I feel like it's mid-range, and this is like, it's, it's a smooth beer. And you can definitely taste the alcohol. 9%, 9% in a beer is kind of a big deer. Like nine percent. See how I said a big deer. A big deer. A big deer. A big deer. Nine percent is a big deer in a beer. <laughs> and look at this. We ended up getting the Walt Disney filet mignon. Look at that. I love it. Here's dinner. I don't know why I'm doing this with the plate. <laughs> Well, I didn't actually go into eating the steak, but I do have to say it was very delicious. I've had it before when I came and actually dined outside, and it is a good steak, but today it was more about just relaxing and hanging out with friends and enjoying, and uh, the steak is done. I ate it all, and it's time for dessert. So I decided on getting the grapefruit cake here, which is basically a Hollywood Brown Derby staple. And I've never had it before, but look how pretty this looks. I mean, I like it. And because it is my birthday, they actually sent me out a mini grapefruit cake for my birthday. But this one has like a little Hollywood Brown Derby hat on top with some Mickey sprinkles. So that's good. You can have a little bit of the cake. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Aww. I like the hat. Yeah. Would you like to have the hat or the wing? <laughs> it's tough, right? It's a wing. So you get a hat or a wing, and then Maria got the baked Alaska. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good, though? I had this. It was really good. And then it's toffee on the side. Yes. Fancy. <laughs> it's the same cake. That's my camera. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dive in here. I'm gonna break a little bit off right here. That's amazing. It's interesting. But I will show you guys the dessert here, and I'm excited to try it for the first time. A little birthday cake, little birthday grapefruit cake. I like it. Yeah. You can taste the tart. Yeah. From like the grapefruit. Good. It's kind of like cheesecake almost. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, it's very, wow. Mm. It's really good. It's very moist. It's really good. So moist. I've never had this before, and it is really, really good. Like I said, it's like kind of like not too sweet. It has a tartness to it, and I, it's cool. And look, we got two. We got a little baby birthday cake. I kind of like this one because I like the wings, but I do yeah. like the little brown dirty hat. Yeah. I, I wonder if we can pluck it out and keep it forever. I, I took a nibble off of it. I'll you nibbled my hat? Yeah. You nibbled my hat? I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> 
all the ways that are <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here today. Can I just tell you guys, I had a fantastic birthday. Thank you for all the birthday wishes and thank you to uh, Jackie, Maria, Chris, and all my friends that I got to hang out with today. And just being able to come here, enjoy a day, have some drinks with some friends, uh, enjoy a park, see Indiana Jones, ride Rise of the Resistance. It's like a perfect birthday to me. Like I had so much fun and we're actually gonna celebrate my birthday a little bit more in the next couple days. I got something really fun planned where we're actually gonna go do something with some more friends who are out of town right now that we couldn't hang out with today and I'm excited for that. But I'm just so grateful to have an amazing birthday and to have fun and bring you guys along with me. So thank you so much. I really feel special and honored on my birthday and I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.